Stephen David Daines born August 20, 1962, is an American entrepreneur and politician serving as the junior United States Senator from Montana since 2015. He previously was the U.S. Representative for Montana's at-large congressional district from 2013 to 2015. In the 2014 midterm election, he won an open seat, defeating Democrat Amanda Curtis. Early life and education Danes was born in Van Nuys, California, to Sharon R. and Claire W. Danes. The family moved to Montana in 1964. He was raised in Bozeman, Montana, where he attended school from kindergarten through college. Danes graduated from Bozeman High School, where he served as student body president. He earned a Bachelor of Science degree in chemical engineering from Montana State University. His high school partner in policy debate was United States Ambassador to Russia Michael McFaul. <laughs> Early political involvement In his senior year, he was one of the youngest delegates at the 1984 Republican National Convention. I was a big fan of Ronald Reagan. He was the first president I got to vote for. Danes was also the president of MSU College Republicans. In 2007, he and his wife started a website called GiveItBack.com, which urged Governor Brian Schweitzer to return the state's $1 billion surplus to the taxpayers. In 2007-08, he served as state chairman for Republican Mike Huckabee's presidential campaign and as a national surrogate for Huckabee. Topic business career Danes spent 13 years with Procter & Gamble. After seven years managing operations in the United States, he moved his family to Hong Kong and China for six years opening factories to expand Procter & Gamble's Asian business. During the 2014 campaign, this period became a campaign issue, with the Montana Democratic Party stating that he assisted the company in outsourcing U.S. jobs to China. Danes responded to this charge by saying that he created hundreds of jobs in Montana when he worked for Right Now Technologies. In 1997, Danes left Procter & Gamble to join the family construction business in Bozeman. Three years later, Danes met Greg Gianforte, founder of RightNow Technologies, and was put in charge of running RightNow's customer care division. Danes went on to become vice president of North America Sales and vice president of the Asia Pacific Division. During his tenure, the cloud-based software company became a publicly traded company and Bozeman's largest commercial employer. Danes remained with the company until March 2012, when he left to campaign full-time. Topic: 2008 gubernatorial election. Danes campaigned for lieutenant governor of Montana in 2008, running on the ticket with Roy Brown, the Republican nominee for governor. They challenged incumbent governor Brian Schweitzer and his running mate John Bollinger. Brown, Danes lost the election 65% to 33%, winning seven of Montana's 56 counties. Equals equals U.S. House of Representatives equals equals. Topic: 2012 election. On November 13, 2010, Danes announced he would run for the U.S. Senate seat held by John Tester in 2012. That year, a complaint was filed with the Federal Election Commission against Danes by the Montana Democratic Party, alleging that a radio ad he had run on behalf of a pro-life organization called Common Sense Issues CSI was a legal campaign activity. The complaint was later dismissed on September 7, 2011, as Danes had not at that time actually filed as a candidate for any federal office. When U.S. Representative Denny Rayburg announced his intention to challenge Tester, Danes dropped out of the Senate race and announced his candidacy for the open House seat vacated by Rayburg. Danes won the three-candidate Republican primary with 71% of the vote. In the general election, he defeated Democratic State Senator Kim Gillen, 53% to 43%. He won 48 of the state's 56 counties. 2012, Senate, 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 Committee assignments Committee on Homeland Security Subcommittee on Cybersecurity, Infrastructure Protection, and Security Technologies 
Subcommittee on Oversight, Investigations, and Management Committee on Natural Resources Subcommittee on Energy and Mineral Resources Subcommittee on Indian and Alaska Native Affairs Subcommittee on Public Lands and Environmental Regulation Committee on Transportation and Infrastructure Subcommittee on Aviation Subcommittee on Highways and Transit Topic. Caucus memberships Congressional Western Caucus Congressional Rural Caucus Republican Study Committee NW Energy Caucus Congressional Sportsmen's Caucus U.S. Senate Topic: 2014 election. In July 2013, Danes attended a NRSC fundraiser in Washington that raised speculation that he would run for the United States Senate seat being vacated by Max Baucus. Additional anticipation that he would run was fueled when he disclosed fundraising of $415,000 in the second quarter of 2013. On November 6, 2013, Danes announced his candidacy. In February 2014, Bacchus resigned from the Senate to accept a post as U.S. Ambassador to China. Governor Steve Bullock, a Democrat, appointed Lieutenant Governor John Walsh to the vacant Senate seat for the remainder of Bacchus's term. Walsh had already declared his intention of running for the Senate in the 2014 election, and it was suggested that his appointment by Bullock might give him the advantage of incumbency, thus improving Democratic chances of holding the seat. Danes won the June 3, 2014, Republican primary, obtaining 83.4% of the vote to defeat Missoula State Representative Champ Edmonds and political newcomer Susan Cundiff. Walsh won the Democratic primary with 64% of the vote. In August 2014, Walsh withdrew from the race following the publication of a New York Times article that accused him of plagiarism in a paper written as part of his master's degree work at the U.S. Army War College. With only 50 days left before the general election, a special convention called by the Montana Democratic Party named one term Butte legislator Amanda Curtis to run in place of Walsh. Danes won the general election, securing 57.8% of the the vote to Curtis's 40.1 percent. Topic: Committee assignments. Committee on Agriculture, Nutrition, and Forestry. Subcommittee on Commodities, Risk Management, and Trade. Subcommittee on Rural Development and Energy. Subcommittee on Conservation, Forestry, and Natural Resources. Chairman. Subcommittee on Livestock, Marketing, and Agriculture Security Committee on Appropriations Subcommittee on Defense Subcommittee on Interior, Environment, and Related Agencies Subcommittee on State, Foreign Operations, and Related Programs United States Senate Appropriations Subcommittee on Transportation, Housing and Urban Development, and Related Agencies United States Senate Appropriations Subcommittee on Financial Services and General Government Committee on Energy and Natural Resources Subcommittee on Energy Subcommittee on Public Lands, Forests and Mining Committee on Homeland Security and Governmental Affairs United States Senate Homeland Security Permanent Subcommittee on Investigations United States Senate Homeland Security Subcommittee on Regulatory Affairs and Federal Management Committee on Indian Affairs Topic Positions Topic Balanced Budget and No Budget No Pay Danes introduced his first bill the Balanced Budget Accountability Act in February 2013 Dane's bill would require Congress to pass a budget that would balance in 10 years or have their pay terminated. Danes also voted in support of No Budget, No Pay Act of 2013 Public Law 113-3 which required both chambers of Congress to pass a budget by April 15, 2013, or the salaries of members of that chamber would be put in an escrow account. Topic. Violence Against Women Act 
In February 2013, Danes voted in support of the Violence Against Women Act, which passed the House with 199 House Democratic and 87 House Republican votes. <laughs> Gun law Danes has been vocal in his support for Second Amendment rights. In 2013, he called the Senate legislation to expand background checks the wrong approach, and has been a vocal opponent of the bill, which failed to pass the Senate that April. Danes has also pledged to block any legislation that poses a threat to Second Amendment rights. In an April tour of a Billings, Montana, sporting goods shop and shooting range, Danes adopted the nickname Dead Eye Danes. After reaffirming his opposition to gun control measures and demonstrating his marksmanship skills. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Energy and natural resource development. Danes has criticized President Barack Obama for the Obama administration's positions on natural resource development, calling the president's June 2013 climate change proposal a job killer and a War on American Energy. Danes co sponsored the Northern Route Approval Act, which would allow for congressional approval of the Keystone Pipeline. Danes has expressed strong support of Montana's coal industry and oil production in eastern Montana and the Bakken Formation. Danes has also called for the need for litigation reforms to clear the way for more active forest management and the revitalization of Montana's timber industry. In April, Danes signed on to the Restoring Healthy Forests for Healthy Communities Act, legislation to address the expiration of the Secure Rural Schools program by renewing the federal government's commitment to manage forest resources. <laughs> North Fork Watershed Protection Act On June 5, 2013, Danes introduced the North Fork Watershed Protection Act of 2013 which would withdraw 430,000 acres of federal lands in Montana from programs to develop geothermal and mineral resources. The law would forbid mountaintop removal mining and other natural resource development. The affected lands lie adjacent to Glacier National Park and already have some protections. Representative Danes emphasized his desire to rise above partisan politics, preserve the pristine landscape, and protect this critical watershed." When he announced that he would be introducing the bill. According to Danes, both conservationists and energy companies support the bill. The bill, also supported by Tester and Walsh, passed in the House, but Senate Republicans prevented it from being voted on, killing it in the Senate. Agriculture. Danes supported the 2014 U.S. Farm Bill which reauthorizes nutrition and agriculture programs for the years 2014-2018. Taxes Danes has vocally opposed an Internet sales tax, which would allow states to collect taxes on online sales. He has characterized legislation to provide the authority as a job-killing tax hike that hurts American small businesses. <laughs> <laughs> National security Danes supported President Donald Trump's 2017 executive order to impose a temporary ban on entry to the U.S. to citizens of seven Muslim-majority countries. He stated that we are at war with Islamic extremists and anything less than 100% verification of these refugees' backgrounds puts our national security at risk. We need to take the time to examine our existing programs to ensure terrorists aren't entering our country. The safety of U.S. citizens must be our number one priority. <laughs> Elizabeth Warren On February 8, 2017, Senator Danes, while presiding over the U.S. Senate invoked Rule 19 of the U.S. Senate to prevent Senator Elizabeth Warren DMA from reading a letter written by Coretta Scott King and first introduced during the 1986 U.S. Senate confirmation hearing for then United States Attorney for Alabama Jeff Sessions to become a United States federal judge. 
King's letter, addressed to Senator Strom Thurmond RSC, describes a 1984 prosecution by Sessions of Albert Turner and other members of the Perry County Civic League for voting fraud. Since Sessions was in 2017 a sitting United States Senator R. Al, the reading of the letter from 1986 during the 2017 confirmation hearing for Sessions's appointment as United States Attorney General would be impugning Senator Sessions. Danes was assisted by Elizabeth McDonough, the current parliamentarian of the United States Senate, who read the language of Rule 19 to freshman Senator Danes. Senator Danes carefully repeated the language of Rule 19 while censuring Senator Warren. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Senate Rules. Danes is one of the Senate Republicans arguing in favor of the nuclear option to speed up consideration of President Trump's nominees. Changing the Senate's rules to a simple majority vote would ensure a quicker pace on Trump's court picks. Personal life Danes and his wife Cindy live in Bozeman with their four children, David, Annie, Michael and Caroline. Danes and his family are actively involved in community volunteer organizations and enjoy backpacking, hunting, skiing and fishing. Danes enjoys mountain climbing and has scaled Granite Peak and Grand Teton. In 2009, his sister, Susan Marie Owenhouse, passed away after a long battle with primary sclerosis cholangitis at the age of 43. She left behind her husband of 22 years, magician J. Owenhouse, and their four children. On October 4, 2018, Danes publicly announced he would be walking his daughter Annie down the aisle during her wedding on Saturday, October 6, 2018. This was the same day the U.S. Senate was scheduled to vote on the confirmation of Federal Appeals Court Judge Brett Kavanaugh's confirmation to be the Supreme Court of the United States Associate Justice to replace the retired Justice Anthony Kennedy. Ultimately, Danes did not vote as the Republicans secured the necessary votes to confirm Judge Kavanaugh. However, fellow Montana Congressman Greg Gianforte offered his private plane to Danes in the event he needed to fly to Washington, D.C. if necessary. Kavanaugh was confirmed 50 to 48. Lisa Murkowski RAK during the final confirmation vote voted present as a pair to Danes who would have canceled her vote if he had been present at the vote. equals <laughs> equals <laughs> electoral history. <laughs>